A mass is an effect of resistance to the formation of wave series. A mass is a simultaneously evolving and devolving harmonic sphere in volume, transformed by motion from harmonic circles in plane. All mass of perfectly balanced motion is spherical. A true sphere is only possible at the exact point of north at the overtone of the wave. The evolution of mass from plane to sphere and its diffusion back to, pl to plane are by the way of the cone. The sphere is the perfection of form and the perfection of the illusion of stability in motion. All generating mass is aiming for spherical perfection of form by means of gyroscopic perfection of motion. The dimensions of a mass are the dimensions of the resistance exerted against the formation of the wave. The resistance to the formation of the wave is greatest at the apex of the cone and less at, the, at its inertial base. That motorcycle pass. Therefore, the power dimensions of mass are increasingly great along the pressure line toward north of the wave and maximum in its ultimate north. The high pressure line of the wave is at the electric pole of all mass just as the low pressure plane is at the equator. The bases of the isoclinal cones mark varying stages of increased pressure as they near the poles and depart from the equator. Harmonic spheres are formed in the vortices of the contracted north from the expanded nebula of the south. Therefore, north is the direction of that attribute of motion, which is termed the attraction of gravitation, and south is the direction of the repulsion of radiation. The duration of the wave is the interval during which motion can be continued in the wave. No matter whether the, the duration of a wave is one ten thousandth of a second, are ten thousand no are ten thousand billion years every stage of its evolution is exactly the same its volume must be transferred to mass in whirling spheres which in turn are dissipated into plane motion diffuses away from the north line of the wave toward the south plane of inertia Harmonic spheres expand from the north of their contracted forms to the south harmonic circles of their expanded concept. All expression of energy is a con concentration into harmonic spheres in motion of expanded concept in inertial plane. Form disappears into south by diffusion from north. Therefore, south is the direction of that attribute of motion which is termed the repulsion of radiation. North is the direction of electropositive charge, therefore positive charge attracts. South is the direction of electronegative discharge, therefore negative discharge repels. If these statements are true, then positive, positive charge cannot possibly attract negative discharge. North is the direction of the generative action of displacement. South is the direction of the radiative reaction of replacement. It will be recalled that the concept and expression of all energy is simultaneously universal, and its preponderance of opposition is sequential. Waves are the expression in motion of the concept of energy. Energy expresses itself by an apparent division of its force into equal opposites of more and less. Therefore, each wave is divided into opposites. Also, the entire sequence of waves of any expression of energy is divided into equal opposites of changing dimensions of an unchanging constant. In order to comprehend more fully the spiral construction of a wave, 
it would be well to imagine the universe of dimension within which all energy is expressed as being divided into a series of cubes. We will call these the cubes of motion. Subdivide each of these cubes by three medium planes, each one of which is parallel to two of its six faces. We will call these the planes of inertia. Let us call the horizontal one of these three planes the south inertial plane of concept. The visible vertical plane will be called the prime vertical and the receding plane the secondary vertical. It will be observed that these three planes subdivide the cube into eight cubic compartments of equal dimensions. Let us bear in mind that the cubes of motion are each subdivided into eight cubic compartments of equal dimension, the inner faces of which constitute the three inertial planes. Of these eight cubes, the left four are the cubes of positive force and electric domination while the right four are the cubes of negative force and magnet magnetic domination. For purpose of convenience, these cubes of motion will be numbered in accordance with the diagram on page 155 as 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 minus 6 minus 7 minus and 8 minus. The point of intersection of the three inter inertial planes at the center of each cube of motion is the point of beginning of the line of the wave. From this point, the line of the wave extends spirally in both directions to the corners of the cube. Let us call the spiral line of the wave the electric pole of the wave. Let us call the vertical line of intersection of the three inertial planes the electric pole of concept. Let us call the corners of the cube the north points or overtones of the wave. From the harmonic circles of these horizontal planes, the, contours, the contour of the opposing cones which bound the mass of the wave is developed. We have now left unnamed and undisposed of the six outer faces of the cube or 24 faces of the subdivided cube. We shall call the two vertical faces, which parallel the primary vertical inertial plane, the ecliptics of the wave, the, the two faces which parallel the secondary vertical plane, the east-west planes, and the two horizontal faces, the north opposed planes. All motion begins on the south inertial plane, as more fully described in the preceding and following chapters and expresses itself in motion by expansion in both directions from the south inertial plane toward contraction at two points in the diagonal north corners of the cube. By a study of the chart on page 155, it will be observed that the horizontal and the secondary inertial planes divide positive charge from negative discharge. These planes divide the opposing tone series of each wave. The primary vertical plane, however, divides the entire wave progression from another wave progression. It divides the positive series from the positive and the negative series from the negative. Every wave of energy of any kind or of any dimension is recorded in series of opposing tones. Tones are storm centers formed by resistance to the electric action which constitutes the beginning of motion. Tonal vortices are the centers of revolving and rotating masses which build equal and opposite tonal pressure walls within the opposed tonal wave of energy to stabilize the motion within the compartments thus divided. Tonal pressure walls are contradiction contractions. Tonal pressure walls are contractions of the south inertial planes toward the ecliptic of the wave. Tonal pressure walls are the ecliptic planes of their systems. Tonal pressure walls are reflected in every mass in every element to measure the potential of that mass in reference to its system, just as the tonal pressure wall of an entire system measures the potential and defines the potential position of that system in its wave.